think I'm just about over it, and I'll be uh, back on that golf course, hopefully in a couple of weeks. OJ Simpson has died at the age of 76, two months after his final social media video. Hey, let me take a moment to say thank you to all the people who've reached out to me. His family posted to X. On April 10th, our father succumbed to his battle with cancer. He was surrounded by his children and grandchildren. During this time of transition, his family asks that you please respect their wishes for privacy and grace. The former Buffalo Bills player frequently posted videos to his 871,000 followers on X, and he wasn't afraid to get personal. Hey, X World is me, yours truly. In May 2023, OJ told his followers that he had an unspecified type of cancer. I unfortunately caught cancer, and so I had to do the whole chemo thing. But without getting into detail, he implied that it was all behind him. I'm healthy now. Uh, it looks like I beat it. <laughs> I'm happy about that. In November, the NFL legend was seen limping in Las Vegas, raising concerns about his health, and he was spotted using a cane in January. In February 2024, Local 10 News in Miami reported that OJ was diagnosed with prostate cancer. He responded with a video shutting down rumors that he was terminally ill, but didn't mention the cancer report. Hospice? You talking about hospice? <laughs> No, I, I'm not in any hospital. I don't know who put that out there. OJ's final post was on February 11th, thanking well-wishers from his backyard. My health is good. I mean, obviously I'm dealing with some issues, uh, but hey, I think I'm just about over it. Hall of Famer wore a 49ers jersey and picked San Francisco to win the Super Bowl. God bless, take care, and I hope your team win. Uh, if that your team is a 49ers. <laughs> OJ spent 10 years in the NFL before becoming a bona fide movie star, commercial pitchman, and broadcaster. In 1994, OJ was charged with the double murder of his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ron Goldman, and the trial of the century that followed shook the nation. Orenthal James Simpson, not guilty of the crime of murder in violation of Penal Code Section 187A. OJ was famously acquitted, though he was later found guilty for wrongful death and battery against Goldman in a civil suit. In 2008, OJ was sentenced to 33 years in prison for an armed robbery in Las Vegas, but was released on parole after nine. I didn't mean to steal anything from anybody, and I didn't know I was doing anything illegal. He kept a relatively low profile in the years that followed, but kept active on social media, frequently commenting on the world of sports and politics, often streaming his unfiltered thoughts straight from the golf course. Boy, are we living in some unusual times. 